Today we'll be showing you our favorite works of art at the Met. Come on! So where are we going to go to first? Let's go to the New American Way. Look, it's the Tiffany window. This window was designed by Lewis Comfort Tiffany in 1923-24, and its title is Autumn Landscape. It's based on the landscape in the mid-Atlantic states, and it's made out of leaded, fabric glass. This is honestly my favorite stained glass window I have ever seen. It's just the pure beauty of nature. Every time I walk down the stairs into the new American wing, I can spend moments or maybe even hours staring at it, wishing I was in that landscape. Hey, B, what's, what's that? Oh, that's the Morning Victory from Melvin Memorial by Daniel Chester French in 1906-08. It's made out of marble. Oh, is that the war monument designed to honor the three brothers who died in the Civil War? Yeah. So, what are you looking at? This bronze siren that dates back to 1571. It's from Italy, which doesn't surprise me because they still believe that sirens live in the island Capri today. To tell you the truth, I thought it was the Starbucks logo. Look closer. Look at all this detail in her hair. It's so realistic. It flows and lays perfectly on her shoulder. It really looks like if she just emerged out of the water. And look at her scales. They're so well crafted. She really does look like a fish. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Can we go to the modern and contemporary way? I love how the artist expresses their feelings with brush strokes. Sounds good to me. Look, it's Clifford Still's painting that dates back to 1943, made from oil on cloth. And look over there, it's Judith Regal's outburst in 1956, which is also oil on canvas. Well, look over here at all these Pollock paintings. These three paintings are made of oil and enamel on canvas, and they're all made in the same time period from 1950 to 1952. This is Autumn Rhythm, this is number 28, and this is number 7. Hey, B, look over here, it's Andy Warhol's skull, made from acrylic on screen canvas in 1977. Wow, it's Lucas by Chuck Close, made from oil and graphite on canvas. Let's go upstairs. Oh, the European section. Over there is the Nice Villers, Young Woman Drawing. In 1801, it's oil on canvas. Wow, these paintings are stunning. I know, right? That's Jacob Amigioni's Flora and Zephyr. It's oil on canvas. Mm -hmm. And this is Francesco Gard's Fantastic Landscape in 1765. It's oil on canvas. Oh, and this is, well, it's The Holy Family with Angels by Sebastiano Rocco, painted around the 1700s. It's made from, well, oil on canvas. Is that the Toilet of Venus? Yep, by Francois Boucher in 1751, made with oil on canvas. Look at these precious children. Is that the how Mandy children? Right? Yeah, it is. It's by Sir Thomas Lawrence in 1823. It's made with, let me guess, oil on canvas. Correct. Let's go to the Asian wing. Do you not know how far that is, Beatrice? Alright, do you know where? Fun? Over here. And you want to go over here. Do you, do you not want to see just go. the Asian art? Okay. Oh my, look at that. It's massive. Yeah, it's pretty massive. It's Badishtaba, made around 550 in the Qi Dynasty. 
it's made out of sandstone. And over here, it's the Dancing Celestial. Made in the early 12th century. Wow, look at how the linear play on surface decoration and dramatic contours replace the emphasis on her balance. The sculpture has twisted the figure into an extraordinary pose that captures the essence of her dance. And it seems believable until one tries to do so. What on earth are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm trying to look like her. Doesn't look like it's working. Well, because it isn't, it's um, kind of hard to actually accomplish. Oh, look at this ewer. Yeah, the phoenix is pretty cool. It dates back to the 15th century. It was produced in Vietnam for domestic use, and items like this was a major export in both the 15th and the 16th centuries. I feel like we forgot to see one of our favorite paintings. You mean The Storm and Springtime by Pierre Auguste Comte? Yeah, that one. It's in Gallery 800 and the 19th and 20th century paintings. Both of them are made by oil on canvas. As to why I love these images, I cannot put my finger directly on it. When I view these paintings, I am directly drawn to the faces of the subjects. I love his paintings because it's easy to make a story that fits the picture. I like to think that this couple fell in love and is running away from someone or something, possibly her father, and they're trying to go to a place where they can live the life that they've always wanted to live. I feel that springtime is a continuation of what happened after the storm. They seem to finally have found peace and they've stopped running away from who or whatever they were running away from. And now they could live in perfect harmony with no trouble. Thanks for visiting us at the Met. You can turn it off. Cause it's over. Cause it's over. Yeah!